Hi, welcome to the discussion of isometric views. Here we are converting the orthography projections into isometric views. Here the front view as well as top view is given. From these two views, we have to draw the isometric view of the casting. As a first step, what we have to do is we have to draw the ground line. After that, locate a point, then thirty degrees right, thirty degrees left, and ninety degrees. That is drawing x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. X-axis in this direction. z axis in this direction and y axis in this direction after that here the total object is to be divided into some components say first part this is the top view of the first part this related front view image is this one that is this portion this top view this particular rectangle and front view this is the related front view the measurements of the first part are total length 75 and breadth 50 and height 12 then this is the second part second part length is 20 and breadth is 25 and height is 25 this is the related second part that is 20 is the length 25 is the breadth and 25 is the height then third part this is the third part third part length is total length 75 minus 20 minus 20 that is 75 minus 40 that is 35 is the length and breadth is 25 and height is this slant line this is the related third part information after that here we are going box method for drawing individual components as a first step we first will complete the first part length of it is 75 that is with the given 75 as a length draw length along the x axis that is I am choosing length along the x axis then direction of the front view should be in this way then breadth should be along the z axis height should be along the y axis so length is uh, 75 and breadth is 50 breadth is 50 and height 12 mm so with the given length breadth and height draw a box from this point with the given height here also from this point with the given height then parallel to x axis parallel to z axis parallel to x axis with the given length parallel to z axis with the given breadth next drawing almost top view is completed but in the case of top view here this particular material is removed that material where it is removed from left 25 mm from right 25 mm that is from left 25 mm from right 25 mm
here this removed material looks like a line here here also line so that's why we have to draw the vertical line then in breadth direction it is 12 mm so from here at a distance 12 mm here also 12 mm and then parallel to x axis parallel to y axis from this point then parallel to z axis parallel to x axis that is drawing first part is completed then second part where it is it is right hand side here right hand side extreme corner here so length wise 20 so from here we have to take length 20 and breadth 25 that means from breadth direction 25 length direction 20 so from one end along the breadth direction locate a point it is at a distance 25 from this end then length of it is how much 20 so point on length line that is 20 mm is located then draw a line parallel to breadth that is z axis so top view of the second part is completed this is the top view of the second part to this what we have to do is we have to add the third dimension that is height how much it is 25 that is parallel to y axis from four corners draw height line After that, parallel to x axis, then parallel to z axis, that is parallel to breadth line, that is drawing second part also completed. Then coming to third part third part length is 35 breadth is 25 anyway breadth is 25 then length is 35 35 means from this end 20 from this end 20 in middle 35 so from here this is the top view image but in front view it looks like a slant line that means this point and this point to be joined together almost we completed everything now we have to dark the required lines
it is darkening of the required lines is completed then we have to do the dimensioning part that's about converting two dimensional drawing into three dimensional drawing even dimensioning also completed i hope everyone understood well thank you